Welcome to another short video, I hope you're doing all great. Thanks to my latest subscribers, Surfing Surf, welcome to the hood brother. And now please make sure to hit that like button, let's get this video up to 200 likes, hit that subscriber button and turn on post notification to get notified for every new video. And now let's get started with today's short video. In today's short episode, I'm gonna show you the decentralized exchanges out there. We're gonna have a quick look over some different decentralized exchanges. And then the main topic will be the Uniswap version 3 exchange. I'm I'm gonna show you how to use the Uniswap version 3 exchange. I'm gonna show you the different sites of the Uniswap exchange so you will be able to search for information. You will be able to use the app and trade and swap some tokens. So let's get started right away. First, we're gonna have a look on uniswap.org. We can see now Uniswap version 3 is out. It's not just announcement anymore. We have now a 250 billion all time volume, 72K liquidity providers, and 40 46 million all-time trades, 200 DeFi integrations. So let's get started first with the one we know from the Uniswap exchange. This is the Uniswap version 2. This is the ethhex.com frontend. We see it out there every day somewhere. You can swap easily some tokens. This frontend is open source, so you can adapt it and use it on your own website. You can also switch it to the version 1, but this is all what we have now. Version 1 is for historical data. Version 2 is where the main liquidity sits at the moment for example for the hex token but we have other decentralized exchanges out there which for example one of them is the quick swap exchange which is running on the poly network or also called the matic network but have a look it looks completely the same it is the same front end so don't you worry you will be all good and safe if you want to swap some tokens on different decentralized exchanges you can do the same on the binance smart chain for example they have a weird copy of some decentralized exchange dex out there. Just keep in mind the validators of the Binance Smart Chains are pretty much centralized so I'm not so sure how decentralized that thing is going on. So let's go back now to the Uniswap exchange version 3. This thing is more decentralized than what we ever seen before so let's give it a try. First you have the site info.uniswap.org. This is where you can see the information, the stats, the numbers. For example we have now almost 1 billion US dollars total locked value in this exchange inside. The volume in the last 24 hours were 1.7 billion US dollars. This is quite crazy. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see here the top tokens. You can see the actual price. For example, Ethereum is now traded at $3,880, down 10%. We have a sell-off in crypto, but I'm going to show you also one coin, which is always green since a couple of days, almost since a couple of weeks now. But anyway, you can see as well also the volume and you see the total locked value in total for Ethereum. You can go through the list, you see all the coins you know out there. You can trade them really, really easy in here. So let's proceed to the second page now. This is the app.uniswap.org link. This is where you see your front end. You, you are now on the Uniswap version 3 exchange. You can see this easily. We cannot switch in between but if you would have a really bad price, Uniswap version 3 is already automatically suggesting to do this trade on the Uniswap version 2. You can see up here you have four different buttons. The chart button, we already had a look at it. This is this over here. And if we go back now, you can see we have the option of the pool button and the vote button. Let's have a quick look what we can do. On the pool side, you can, for example, if you would like to be a liquidity provider, provide some liquidity for your desired token, but you can also do some limit orders. This is really, really easy. So for example, let's go with USDC. Let's hit another token, which is pumping right now and going really, really strong. For example, HEX is a good example. You're going to choose your fee. Let's go with 0.3%. This is what is suggested at the moment. So let's just swap it back and forth because we need HEX on this side. And we're going to need the USDC on this side. <clears throat> Once again, 0.3%. Now we can see the current price for one hex token is at the moment 6 cents. Congratulations to this master pump. And if you would like to buy maybe some cheaper hex, so let's assume you would like to buy in the range of 6 cents. This is just an example. You can always change the price by clicking the plus or the minus button. At the moment, this is the current price, 6 cents. And we can just set a limit order just below this price. And if we scroll down, 
down a little bit we can now say how much usdc we would like to spend let's say 400 bucks this would be not a spending amount but it's the liquidity amount which will just sit at this level of six cents once the price would drop down there maybe your your liquidity would get eaten up so this is the way how to add some liquidity in this case we just added liquidity for some specified amount but this is the way to go you can also go on the voting chart on the voting chart you have some uniswap government's proposals you can already see the first two were defeated the third one was executed uniswap grants program version 0.1 was executed if you click on it you can see how the voting was going on you can see the details the summary of this proposal this is all working since uniswap version 2 i think so let's now proceed again to the app so we would like to swap now some tokens this is the last part of this video you can see it already i was talking before now it is indicating get a better price on version 2 so if you click you can see for one ethereum you would get at the moment 61,724 hex tokens so let's just try it a little bit less let's go for 0.01 ethereum we should get 620 hex tokens this is all you have to do of course you can choose the input currency and the output currency we have a lot of tokens available on the uniswap exchange you find a list down here you can also search so for example if you would like to swap some ethereum into wrapped ethereum you just type in wrapped ethereum and boom you have already your ratio one to one but in this case we would like to swap some hex because hex is still pumping and i think 10 cents are incoming so at the moment for 0.01 ethereum i get already a little bit more hex than before 626 hex you can now click on swap if you would like to swap you have to confirm your swap and then metamask is just opening up and let's just have a quick look in here you can now see this already costs you 160 dollars at the moment to swap this thing on the ethereum mainnet so this is way too much in this example we wanted to swap for 40 bucks some hex so in a couple days you will see an ethereum fork which is called pulse chain and this pulse chain will probably have the exact same uniswap front end so this is open source as i said in the beginning they will do a copy and you will be able to transact for really a penny again on this network you will be able to to transact in between a lot of tokens but for now we still have to swap our tokens on the ethereum mainnet and this is getting ridiculous high in terms of fees so the fee situation is out of control and we are really looking forward for this new blockchain called pulse chain which you will be able to transact nearly for free and you will have plenty of tokens to trade on so with that we are already by the end of this video if you found some value in it please leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would be really appreciated drop a comment down below if you have any questions, stay long and fat, stay safe out there and see you in the next one. Peace.